I never thought we'd see the day when a party in power, a U.S. president, has a Department of Justice under him that arrests his lead rival during an election, in the middle of an election. Yet here we are. We have two standards of justice, one for BLM rioters and Antifa, another one for peaceful January 6th protesters, one for Chelsea Manning, another one for Julian Assange. Guess what, now you have one for Joe Biden, who violates the same laws about document retention and classified documents, and then one for President Trump. And actually there's deep questions, legal questions, that's for the courts, about declassification power, about whether documents are overclassified, but that's not the point. The point today is that we the people decide who actually governs in this country, not some administrative police state. And I am sorry, we do not live in some banana republic where the party in power gets to use its power to arrest political opponents. And believe me, it would be easier for me if Donald Trump were not in this race. But this is not about politics to me. This is about principle. I stand on the side of principle and I'm committing to say that if I am elected as your next president on January 20th, 2025, I will pardon not just President Trump, but every victim of a politically motivated prosecution. Believe me, there have been others too. We will restore the rule of law in this country again.